Hi YouTube, I am back with a video. I am back on some beach somewhere in the Caribbean, fill in the blank, sea grape trees, coconut trees, and manchineel trees. If you didn't know, manchineel trees, the fruit of them, they look like apples or some kind of fruit, but they're extremely poisonous. Uh, so that's my public service for today. Um, yeah, the sea is a little choppy right now, but that might have something to do with there being a Category 4 hurricane somewhere that way. <laughs> but um, don't want to really talk about the hurricane. The beach still looks safe-ish. Um, but there are people here to keep me safe just in case. Um, but yeah, the day was a pretty good day. I had... A lot going on but I got a lot done um, in an earlier video you would have heard me talking about considering future career plans and one of the things that I was turned on to is manifesting so I'm manifesting some really big goals and it is one of the things that I think in the Caribbean as a people we tend to be disparaging on people who have dreams and ideas and really big, really big ambitions. But at the end of the day, you know, we shouldn't have that kind of like, oh, you can't achieve that because you're from a small island. Um, you could achieve anything, especially with manifesting. And I've seen a lot of people in the Caribbean got disappointed about um, you know not having the support of friends and families for their ideas and so what they do is that they will get up leave wherever they're from and go to the US the UK Europe some Australia Caribbean people you can find us on every corner of the planet and it's because sometimes those people had hopes and dreams and the home environment was not supportive enough for them to see that through or at least they didn't feel that they had that space where they could share safely and when they did share they were ridiculed so one of the things i would want to tell anybody listening to this channel don't ridicule people um everyone has their has their talent has their hopes their dreams their ambitions and we shouldn't laugh at that actually the people who don't have hope are the ones we should feel sorry for I'm not big on giving pity, but um, those are the ones that have the power to change the world. I really believe that, and I believe I'm one of those persons. Um, I dream big, and I'm going bigger. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to keep you all posted. What am I working on? Um, thinking about, like, so even if I stay in my job, my substantive job, I am going to be focused on helping people. So I'm changing my position a bit um, and my outlook because most times people are genuinely good. And if it is that they see that you're willing to help them, they will be more open with their problems and I think that we can have a lot of things solved. Um, like I said in past videos, I work in financial services, nothing is perfect. I am very big in the crypto space. Well, no, I'm not very big. I have, I hold crypto. I, uh, my biggest holding is XRP, XLM, ADA. I have Link, Solana, Algo, Keep, a little bit of Bitcoin, a little bit of Ethereum. I have a few, you know, so I have more than a dozen coins that I have. I do use a Ledger Nano. Um, and it's one of the other things that people were ridiculing and like you know that will never go anywhere and that's for criminals and they just hear the hype and they have these misconceptions which is something that we suffer from a lot in the islands people have a lot of misconceptions about what happens in the islands and it's for nothing is further from the truth but that um, yeah we have to change that mindset and that approach I think um, so I got into crypto early. I was open-minded. Um, I don't know a lot of regulators who actually do whole crypto. So that's another thing. And I have a video on my other channel where I talk about the crypto I hold or hodl because hodl is like, you know, part of the lexicon. Um, and 
now we're seeing the push from the Bank of International Settlements and a lot of other central banks pushing um, central bank to digital currencies. And that's embracing the technology. And so they're digitizing their own currency. But for some jurisdictions, we don't have central banks. We don't have our own currency. We might be dollarized or whatever. Um, and there's a space for everyone to actually leverage the technology for their economy if they get in early. One of the countries within the group of the Caribbean is Bermuda. I think they've done that to great effect. Barbados is coming along quite nicely. Um, and there are others. Anguilla actually does quite a bit. Um, who else in the Caribbean? And LATAM, so Argentina. Of course, El Salvador is in the news, but I won't talk about El Salvador specifically. Argentina is doing quite a bit as well. Um, Mexico is working on that. I don't think people understand if you're not in it, you don't know it. Like sending a wire transfer, sometimes a few miles, a few hundred miles, having that take days or weeks is just, you know, this is 2021. That shouldn't be the case. And that's one of the reasons why I was turned on to crypto really soon because that is a definite pain point and when you want to transform the wall or change things you look for pain points and you try to fix them anyways guys um i could get into a whole socio-economic and philosophical discussion about where the caribbean region goes as a, a, a region with the advent of fintech and nfts and everything else but um this channel is more about life and I think I'm going to go into water because the sun is fierce. And that tends to happen when you have hurricanes that are within the area. Something with the high pressure and the gradients and everything else. Um, so I'm going to cool off, jump in the water, and do my thing. And I will hopefully catch you guys on another one. And we get a different perspective. Yeah. So I'll catch you guys on my next video.